when lens adapters go bad. Next on EGE TV. Okay, so I got the uh, new Tamron 18 to 200 uh, super zoom walk around lens. It's a very sweet little um, kind of a family vacation style lens. You can get one for about 250. I'll have a separate review of that coming down the road. That's a, uh, a nice little bit of kit. Essentially, we're going to use this for family vacation photos. Um, so I was going to attach it to my trusty Sony 80. 6300 um, via this dumb adapter because I got a Canon mount version of it. It's for my wife's camera, uh, Rebel T2i. Uh, so I put on this dumb adapter, got some nice photos with it, and then I go to take off the dumb adapter off of my um, Canon mount, and guess what? Stuck on there like steel absolutely no way to uh, get it off. I've actually broken off the pin that you're supposed to slide back to uh, get it off. Now you can still slide it back with a knife, twist, 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 nothing. No amount of uh, physically doing it will uh, get this dumb adapter off of my nice new Tamron lens. So this has uh, of course happened to many other people before. In fact, this actually happened to me before on another Tamron lens, the uh, uh, 16 to 50. I think it's 16 to 50, which I had forgotten about because it happened like four years ago. I think this is the same brand. I don't want to say the. It doesn't say on there, uh, but I don't know if you can see that. It says EOS to NEX. Anyway, I put this in the freezer. I put it out in the direct sun in an attempt to get the metal to to play nice isn't doing it. So now at this point I'm going to sacrifice the dumb adapter in an effort to save the much more expensive. I think these lenses are going for like 225 whereas these dumb adapters are like 15 bucks. So I'm going to try to get this off with the minimal amount of damage to both this and hopefully no damage to that. So let's see what I can do with the drill. Now again I tried every means to get this off without damaging this lens. Now I'm about to use a drill to try to drill just behind where the pin slides back to hopefully gain a little more purchase uh, to get this pin out. Now, I'm doing normally I would use a vise. I'm not going to use a vise this time because the the delicate nature of the lens. Don't try this at home. Be extremely careful if you do. So let me just see. This is very cheap aluminum, so it should go relatively easy. Famous last words. Still not coming off. Try it some more. Well, now it looks like I'm going to have to solve this bad boy. Again, I don't think I can put this in a vise. I just think it, it will it will crush the lens. Let me just see what I can do with this. All right, I'm going to put one of these little. Oh, look at this. Safety. Wow. Now, of course, it sucks to have to destroy, you know, a dummy lens mount. Uh, but you can't pick them up for anywhere from $15 to $25. Now, obviously, if you paid four or $500 for a smart adapter, uh, then this becomes a little more horrible. Okay. I picked the dullest saw in the world. I'll uh, probably... Speed this up a little in post. The sliding pin here, a little better. I'm going to try to drill that out uh, a little bit more. Ah. Pin completely gone now. That would be the sliding pin, a little silver knob that you would slide back and forth. It's not completely removed. And yet, I am still no better. Okay, back to the old saw.
Africa. And I just got it off. I had to stop filming because I was running out of memory card space. It just popped off after I drilled one, two, three, four separate holes into the uh, smart or dumb adapter. And well, there you go. So after nearly two hours worth of work, I got it to come off. As mentioned, huge amount of damage had to be done to this thing to get it off. Um, I did a little bit of damage to the lens there. I think there's a screw damaged here, and this might be the culprit here. There was a little screw poking out that it was blocking. You know, the lesson is, is if you're gonna put one of these $15 things onto a lens, you better be uh, dang near certain that it's gonna come off again. So I've had problems now with two Tamron lenses, um, lenses which I like too, I mean the lenses are good, but be very careful putting the, um, the EOS to NEX uh, adapters on there because you're going to have problems. And if you do end up having to chop it off, uh, be ready for some time. I'll give uh, one thing to these dumb adapters, the the metal is quite thick on this. This is, oh dang, I'm very close to maybe half an inch worth of aluminum, aluminum, uh, you know, at the thickest spot. So this thing, is, you know, that's good and bad. It's great because it means your lens probably is not going to fall off your camera, but it's super duper bad if your uh, lens gets stuck to the mount. Hopefully we're going to have a new Two Fat Drunks coming up next week. Um, until then, um, ah, we love you, YouTube. Beware the dumb adapter. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See you next time. Nothing's given away at all, so now I have no choice but to try to saw it uh, off with a hacksaw because that's going to be super duper fun. Yay.